People have different presumptions what can and cannot be automated. Today we are breaking myths about the possibilities of document understanding AI. Welcome to studio. Thank you. Thank you. Which process can typically be automated by using AI? The most beneficial are the ones that you have a lot of data that needs to be handled and particularly manually by a human being. I think the key is the human understanding of those documents. If you have a process and human has to understand a document, incoming sales order or a medical record, for example. The problem is that many existing automation solutions, for example, all the RPA solutions, they focus on taking information that is known and moving it to somewhere, automating the data entry. But the problem is the key that information that is known and they need humans to do that. We, on the other hand, provide the known part, the actual understanding what is being said in a document. So from our perspective, the absolute best candidates are the processes where a human needs to understand something and act on it. So which are those processes that cannot be automated? Almost anything you can automate. Well, I would say we can't automate processes that currently do not involve humans in any way. Because we are focused on actually automating the human understanding and replacing it with deep AI. So pretty much anything that human needs to think recognize something and think and act upon. We can replace the human cognition. But if it's, already, if it's a process where a human provides no value at the moment, then there might be some better things for automation than deep AI that can understand humans. Also, one thing that is kind of handy when you are looking at what can and what can't be automated is a tooling or kind of a method called process mining. When you look at your processes based on evidence, on logs, and see how th what is actually happening in the processes, you can actually see which part you can automate and which you really can't automate. And that, that's, that's a practice that we do, for example, for our customers, because it offers great benefits, not just identifying good automation targets, but also providing very exact return of investment because when you automate something you can then use process mining to measure how this automation will affect the process before you do it. What are the most common things that people assume cannot be automated in organizations? Well, for example, in some very large organizations you receive huge amount of orders from your customers by email. And it's common misconception that you can automate this type of thing because you need your experts to actually read and understand what, it, what is being ordered. Normally, if the document does contain something that needs a human understanding, that is considered that, that it cannot be automated. I just had a discussion with possible client in one case. They said we can't automate our incoming invoice processing because our accounting is not accurate enough. So we don't have sufficient training data. That's partially true, but one great benefit of Clever AI is that we can actually find easily which things in accounting are not correct and exclude them then from the training data, which means that even though businesses think that they don't have sufficient data or data is not accurate enough, there are great many things that we can do with AI to make data more robust and accurate and more usable. How do I identify the process in my own organization that would be sensible to automate? If the process is uh, consuming a lot of manual work, and we are talking about an enormous amount or big amount of documentation, then there might be a, a possibility to automate that.
Good example is privacy screening. You have terabytes and terabytes of data. If a lawyer goes through those, that data to see what kind of privacy data you have and what is the legal basis for storing this information, it takes about 12 years per terabyte for a lawyer to go through. People think this is not doable. Luckily, AI can do that in a month. What are enabling factors for the future automation that you need to set now? A key thing is if we can actually get the training data. So businesses should make sure that when they are setting up the ERPs and processes, they set them up in a manner that whatever ends up in ERP, for example, can be traced down to incoming order or medical record so that we can then programmatically combine them in a current training data set. If you don't do that, you have to do manual work to do that, which is a stupid cost. By making small adjustments in your existing processes, the cost can be minimal. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you. Thank you.